So in today's video, we are going to be subbing on this Dollar Tree pinwheel. It's a garden pinwheel. And we shall see how this turns out. If you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do cricket, supplementation, and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. And let's jump into this video. <laughs> so let's get started on prepping our pinwheel. You're gonna wanna start off by taking off the little tag. And we're gonna individually take off all of these. So if you want, you could take like a picture if you wanna keep the colors the same so that you don't forget where those colors were at. And then as you can see, each piece is in there through little holes. So we're just gonna pull them out. Let me get some pliers. Okay, so pliers definitely make it easier. So you're gonna take off both sides. Once you take off one side, the other side comes off pretty easily. So we're just gonna do that for all of them. I'm not gonna take off the metal. I mean, you can probably take out the metal, but then you're gonna have to put it back in there. I think it'll be fine. If I don't take out the metal, we'll try one and see if it's fine. If not, we'll take out the metal and then put it back in. I just don't wanna risk putting a hole in it when I'm putting it back in. So I'm just gonna be putting words on these. You can put um, whatever you would like. You can put a little, your logo or, Something like that. So I'm going to be using a no sub paper for mine. And just using words again. And I'm going to take some heat tape. Tape it down. And because these are see-through, you can see where your design is at. Okay, so you got to be careful because... Maybe press down really good. My heat tape isn't sticking the best on it. So we're just going to do that for every single one of our petals. There are six petals. Now that we have prepped them all, we're gonna start off by taking one to our heat press and seeing how well it does. Seeing if the the wire in it is gonna cause a problem or not. I don't think it will, but who knows. So we're gonna pun, we're gonna try one and see how well it does. I have some butcher paper underneath just in case it bleeds through. You can probably do a bunch of them at one time at the same time, but I just want to see if this metal is going to cause a problem or what. So I'm going to put, I don't need butcher paper because my paper that I'm using, the sublimation paper, sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm pregnant. Um, it doesn't need a blowout paper, it doesn't bleed through. But I'm going to use the Teflon just to protect the plastic. And I have my heat press set at 360 and I'm going to do 60 seconds. Hopefully it doesn't melt the plastic, we'll see. So I'm gonna take off my Teflon sheet. The plastic doesn't seem like it melted. Make sure you have heat gloves because there's metal there and it's gonna be um, woo. Okay, so now we know that the metal doesn't really interfere much with the pressure, like it went on really well. So now it does bleed through just a tiny bit. Well, it doesn't really bleed through. It's more like the material. So we can do all of them at the same time. So I'm just gonna put down all of my pieces. I have about medium pressure on them. So I'm just gonna put them all down. I'm gonna put my Teflon sheet again, just to kind of protect that plastic. And I'm gonna press again at 360 for 60 seconds. 
can see the fabric kind of like stained my made a mark on my Teflon. So happy with how that turned out and you can see on the butcher paper like the pinks left a mark on it so make sure to have butcher paper underneath because you don't want to mess up your mat okay so now we're going to assemble it back together and get our plastic part and if you took a picture, you can follow that or you can just put it however you would like. So I believe one goes on the bottom and then one goes on the top and you can just push it in there. I'm going to put in the top one. So it goes one side goes in the bottom, there's two holes in each one. So one goes in the bottom and the other one goes on the top of the next one. So that way it kind of like fans out. Make sure your words are all going the same way. It turned out so much cuter than I thought it was and it subbed so well. Like this would just make a cute little gift. You want to make sure that when you're putting them back, you are putting good enough pressure. Some of them you'll hear kind of snap into place and you'll be able to tell if they're in there really good. You definitely have to force them back in there. It's kind of fragile. So I don't know, maybe it won't make a good gift, but it'll be cute for your garden and you can put your logo on it. You can feel them coming off, but they're really cute and they subbed really well. Let me know if you guys try this out. Let me know what tricks you found to make these stay in place. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.